Zimbabwe's premier trade exhibition, now in its 58th year, is tending towards strengthening trade with neighbors. The business community in Namibia and Zimbabwe remain optimistic despite challenges posed by the downturn in global economy. What further fuels this optimism is the International Monetary Fund's revised growth forecast for the world economy at 3,5% from 3,1%. Good rainfalls received in the SADC region this year is another contributing factor. We understand that Zimbabwe, the bread basket of SADC, is poised to reap a bamba harvest this year. What I have seen before we came here, I told in the stands, and looking at the agricultural sector, I must restate that Zimbabwe is indeed a bread basket of farming. And this positive outlook will bolster our hopes and encourage our business people to get ready and position themselves to capitalize on the opportunities presented by these developments. The low levels of trade between Namibia and Zimbabwe is not unique to them only. Intra-Africa trade itself registers only 12% due to little diversification in trade patterns traditionally aligned to serve the requirements of developed countries. This must change. <laughs> His Excellency, Congress Mugabe, who has always been at the forefront of advocating for an industrialized Africa. It was under his able leadership as chairman of SATE that within a record period of time, the SATE industrialization policy and implementation framework was adopted in 2015. We must work hard to ensure that this important roadmap does not collect us. Zimbabwe's dry port facility at Valfes Bay that would enable the landlocked country to open a strategic gateway is almost complete. According to Zimbabwe's Trade and Commerce Ministry, trade volumes through the port of Valfes Bay have grown significantly to over two tons per month.